There we go, there's my shot. Yeah, I've seen a lot through that mirror. So this is it, huh? Yeah, we're, this uh, is it. we this just is... put the mirror, and if you look in here, oh, we take, why don't you take that cover off? Hey, great. When did they grind, when did they grind the 12 and a half? Uh, 1975 or 64? No, it was, it was done in, in 62. 62. Wow. That's the old 12 and a half out there. They, 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 re, yeah. they refinished it. They resurfaced it in 75, okay. though. It was resurfaced. So it was around 62 so, then, then. Yeah, it was originally in 62, but the uh, but the, but the quality is from 75. Yeah, hi, I'm Sandra Masika, and this is my 14 and a half inch reflector Starmaster telescope. And this actually is this is every time I use it, I take it apart and put it back together again. And so this is one piece. This base is one piece that turns like Lazy Susan, and then this next piece turns this way so you get all kinds of movement and it's really even though that's heavy this is very easy to move and so the, the mirror you it is one of the last steps you actually put the mirror in yeah. right comes right out the wow, bottom and, and this is the frame this it's mounted to that and I use these three knobs to line up this bottom mirror with the top mirror I have up there that's the primary one right. Align it, get up the alignment. The, all the light comes down in here, right. and there's it's a parabola. Right. If you remember that one from math, if it got, goes down straight, then it all comes back to one point. Right. And so that's just a very slight curve. To, and then the, so it comes to the secondary mirror in here. I don't know if it's dark, too dark for that. I can see it. Maybe so. See it. So, and that is like a 45 degree angle. So when everything comes back, from the parabola like that one point to the center of this angled mirror which comes out here right. and then you put the eyepiece here right. and that's where you get your magnification like some people ask I don't know how if you know these kind of but in case some of your viewers <laughs> are not familiar uh, the magnification all, all happens here some people ask like how much magnification is that scope so I can change the eyepiece and magnify it to any number. And the highest I use in this scope is about 300x, uh, 300 times the normal view. Right. Uh, but it depends on the size of the mirror, because right. if you magnify it more than that, it starts to get blurry. Right. So Excellent. this is my Star cool. Master. And I'm about to do the collimation right now. And then we're going to take a look at something like that, that uh, uh, um, antenna array over there. As well, that would be nice. Do the very cool. Very cool. Would you like to help me do the collimation? I need a, sure. another hand sure, for I'll that. Sure. I'll do that. So, uh, the, what, what we're going to do, if you want to record that before, and you probably have to set it down when we actually do <laughs> okay, it, or maybe right. not. That sounds good. I'm just going to say, turn one screw. Right. And, and I'll just turn it. turn it a little bit, and right. I might say, okay, go back, and then try right. to say, this is number one, two, three. So I'll just say which number. And, Excellent. And turn that one. Okay. It's just a tiny bit off right now. Okay, turn the screw. Number, Number one. one. Okay, go back. A little bit more. Okay, uh, stop and go to screw number two. Okay. Okay, go back. Okay, stop. Screw number three. Okay. 
start turning so she can see what it's doing. Oh no, okay, now go back. All right, two again. All right, I'll go the other way. Okay, I'm sorry, go back to number one again. Okay. I don't know which way you want me to go, but. The other way. Okay. I might be slow in my collimation. Okay, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Perfect. Is it? Oh, good. So if you want to see in here, <laughs> all right, you're going to show me how to collimate. You're not going to be able. I won't be able to see it with this, this in your well. camera, but yeah, this is a special got a piece. It's not an eyepiece. Eye piece. It's a collimation, uh, collimator, whatever. <laughs> so and then when okay. I look in there, I see like a donut thing. There's a black right. donut and then right. a small black circle. Right. And if you see like a half moon of light, which I did when it was. Then it's not in collimation, but you can right. go ahead and look in there okay, if you good. want, and you'll see that it's right. it's collimated. Well, um, we bought the state-of-the-art equipment and have slowly renovated the building, and then the club members have helped me to install it. And now we basically have one of the finest telescopes in the state that's available to the public. In fact, this is now connected by video camera to the internet, and the kids can see the stuff in the classroom. They don't even have to come out. You just have one person out here operating. Yeah. And in fact, you can trade telescope time with, say, classrooms in Australia. So that when it's their nighttime, it's your daytime and vice versa. So that kids can see over the internet what the kids' telescope in Australia is seeing at night. And then they can use yours, you know, vice versa. The club members, uh, fellows like George Carodi here and others, uh, will come out on a regular basis. We do a lot of outreach and invite the community at large to come out and participate. And what we do is we bring a number of telescopes and folks look at different things. Cub Scout troops come out and they have a task list. They need to see one planet, one star, one nebula, like that, you know. Uh, and then take turns coming inside and, and uh, looking at the big ones. So it's a combination of the school kids doing, using it for lesson plans and then the community at large having a resource, something for them to be proud of, something to be excited about. Uh, it's, a, it's an economically tough time, and yet here we have managed to pull together you know, something really unique, something really amazing. So it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling, and it wouldn't have been possible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say from the time that we actually Let's see, I wrote this, the grant for the process Got the check in December, and here we are now. Right, right. 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 I'm working on the safety. This will be an ongoing project. <laughs> Yeah, they're 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 bringing them out. See, there's mops right there. Well, yes, there's a school, two schools.